The market makers put stock pools. Let's take a look. So I've come to realize after our spikes, our ATS dark pool price is being reported to the exchange, but immediately after they send a few orders through stabilize the price back to the original manipulated level. But why would this happen? It is my opinion that the hedge funds are also buying synthetic stock from the market makers to load up on shares off exchange, then dump them on exchange throughout the day in order to drive the price down. This is because of how scarce lendable shares are becoming and because naked shorting is getting more and more attention from the retail and media. The problem with synthetic share long positions is they don't have to be bought back and clearly the market makers have no problem creating infinity liquidity while failing to deliver actual shares. The SEC is too busy playing around and FINRA is run by someone that doesn't care. And the media is completely bought off, so it leaves us to just us. Apes, I think we find ourselves in a system with so many loopholes and fundamentals. It's just going to have to collapse on itself. Buy and hold. I think we got it wrong. I think when AMC really rips is going to start in the middle of the night to reduce the amount of FOMO. The world could wake up to AMC up 19,000%. So all the paper hands that were waiting for God knows what will have no chance to pile in and make it even worse for the teacher's pension protectors. So we got it wrong. Moaz isn't at 2 p.m. EST. It's at 2 a.m. See you guys on the moon. Fundamentals matter and AMC has them, not financial advice. AMC is fundamentally worth 40 to 60 per share because CEO Adam Marin realized that AMC is not in the theater business. They're in the entertainment business. I call it the movie experience business because it's a total experience. The movie, the sound, the seats, the food, the welcoming, upbeat atmosphere. Add that to AMC's innovations, the popcorn branding diversification with Highcroft, the NFT's Investor Connect community, the CEO's willingness to communicate with investors and movie fans. Take away the hedge fund's criminal manipulation and AMC's trading right now between the figures I gave above. With the manipulation, the pounce will add at least two zeros to the end of both. Now this makes a really good point even taking away the high short interest and all the manipulation that's going on that hopefully will come to an end soon here. Even taking that all away, just looking at AMC's fundamentals as a company. Looking at where the company's trading today, it could be extremely, extremely undervalued. Now, in my opinion, that's what definitely helps me stay in the play. I'm currently down on my shares of AMC, but I'm perfectly fine with holding onto my shares for obvious multiple reasons, but mostly because the company's actually doing very, very well and it's poised to do very, very well in the future. So if I'm down 20%, 30% of my shares right now, holding onto a company, holding onto a stock like AMC long-term should definitely be a good investment down the road. But let me know what you guys think about this. What do you think fundamentally speaking AMC is worth as a stock, as a company? But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me guys, there's a lot more to go through. Make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on an up and coming video. Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure to please drop a like in the video. It really helps the channel grow. And lastly, make sure to go down below to my description to see all the links down there. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.